Welcome back to Pavigo's tutorial series. I am Vikram and in this video I will be talking about how you can install Magento 2 on Ubuntu 18.04. Before getting started I would recommend to check the link in the description where you can find a detailed tutorial which might help you out in setting up Magento 2 on your server. Let's begin with what is Magento. Magento is an open source e-commerce platform which is used for catalog management and wide e-commerce stuff. In this video, we will be talking about installing Magento on Ubuntu 18.04. So what are the pre-requirements? We will require PHP 5.6 or greater, MySQL 5.6 or greater, and web server, it can be an Apache or Nginx. For this video, we will be using Apache server, and we recommend to use minimum 2 GB of RAM server for installing Magento 2. Let's begin with the step one. As we have said, we need to install a web server and in this video, we will be going with Apache. So if you have not installed Apache, you can just simply copy paste this command that is sudo apt install Apache 2. And once you have installed Apache, just start the Apache server and enable it. Now, we need to make an uh, Magento configuration that can be easily done with uh, hosting a file that is etc apache sites available magento.conf. You just need to copy paste this configuration in the magento.conf file and just need to restart the apache server. So rewrite, uh, we also need to maintain or uh, uh, use this uh, command to enable the magento, dot, uh, magento conf or uh, you can say rewrite the module of the apache so just copy paste this and hit on the terminal once you are done with this now we need to install php and its dependencies so let's uh, install php if you have already installed just hit this command so that the remaining dependency is also installed and uh, for installing Magento, I would recommend to make few changes in php.ini file so that uh, your Magento is running smoothly and uh, Magento installation is done smoothly and uh, it will function properly. So uh, I recommend to uh, keep the memory limit as 512 MB and the max upload size has 128 MB. So if you keep a bit greater, then uh, it will be better you uh, I can say and later we can degrade this and just restart the PHP FPM and Apache our web server once you are done with this now it's time to install MySQL if you have already installed MySQL uh, then you can directly move on to this step that is creating an Magento database a user and password and granting all the access to the user to database if you have not installed MySQL you can just follow this simple step that is sudo apt install mysql server and just change the password from the temporary one to your own password that is sudo mysql secure installation will help you out in setting up and secure password so i will recommend to keep a complex password so that more complex your password is the more secure your database will be now it's time to install Composer, which my which we will be using for installing Magento. So copy paste this particular line as we have installed PHP. So it will directly download and install Comp uh, Composer in Composer setup.php file. Once that is done, then sudo php composer will install Composer. <clears throat> to verify whether the Composer is installed or not, we will hit this command on the terminal and check whether the Composer is installed or not. Now it's once the composer installed. Now it's time to create an account on Magento. So install uh, while installing Magento, we need to have a username and password for Magento. In order to get that, you need to log into the Magento Marketplace, which looks like this, and create an account over there. Once you have created the account, you can move on to access keys and create one of the access keys. So in return, it will give two keys that is public key and private key public key will be your username and private key will be your password now it's time to install magento let's move to the root directory of the web server that is via wwhtml once you have moved to the uh, root directory just copy paste this command and hit on the terminal 
So what this will do, it will ask a username that we have taken from this. The public key is the username for us and the password will be the private key. This is the one step which can be which can be used to install Magento easily and the other one is to download the zip and then unzip to the root directory and once you have unzipped that Magento 2 to the root directory we need to just <coughs> copy that uh, whole path or zip to our server and then we have to do and composer install. So the composer install will uh, install all the dependency that is required for Magento and once we are done with this then we can hit uh, our IP on the URL and the Magento will be displayed. Magento uh, home page will be displayed. The possibilities of error and exception if you are asking or if you are looking for is the directory access. So it can be given 7555 access to the directory and <clears throat> this uh, uh, and the user group and the user should be Apache, Apache or WW data, WW data or it can be Nginx, Nginx total depend on your web server. So once you are all done with the Magento setup, this will be the start page of Magento while installation. You need, just need to agree and uh, move forward. So readiness check is something like everything is properly set for uh, the installation or the next step. That is PHP version check, settings, PHP uh, extension check and file permission. So here it, it is everything green and go signal where if anything goes wrong, you will get a red cross mark instead of this green tick mark. So let's move forward as we have created a database name Magento. We just need to copy paste here. The username is Magento user, the database password that you have kept and the database name Magento. Similarly, these are the few steps that need to uh, configure and go forward that are the simple and easiest. Anyways, if you are stuck in between, you can anytime come to the video and check the link in the description so that you can find this tutorial again and uh, this might help you out in setting up the Magento and installing the Magento on the server. So here, uh, the fifth step that is create an admin account. It is an important step where which will help you out uh, for setting up an admin panel for Magento. So once uh, you are done with this, the installation might take few time that can be five to 10 minutes depend on how much memory limit we have given in PHP and I, I recommend to give 512 MB to 1 GB so that it fluently install Magento on your server. So once you have installed a Magento, so Magento will look like something this. This will be the admin page of the Magento you can say. Once you sign up, <coughs> sorry. So this will be the dashboard. Uh, you you will be uh, redirect to the dashboard of Magento. Once you have done with all this, now we need to update our uh, Magento e-commerce site with each and every set second you can say. So there are few cron jobs that we need to configure for uh, the Magento. So you, you can install Magento cron by using this or you can just simply sudo cron tab hyphen l. If you have not installed cron tab, you can just simply apt install cron or cron tab. Just copy paste these lines in cron tab and we are done with Magento setup. So uh, this is the simplest uh, way you can say for setting up Magento. It is the easiest way. Uh, so anyone can uh, make install Magento on uh, Ubuntu 18.04 using this simplest step. And anyways, if you are stuck in between, there is always a link in the description. You can visit and you can get this uh, detailed tutorial, which might help you out in setting up Magento. Uh, we are done with this tutorial. Uh, hope uh, you uh, we recommend to subscribe to our channel so that you are updated with uh, the next tutorial list and the uh, Pepivos product updates. Thank you. See you soon.